what's going on everyone everywhere never feel okay jay's here back with another sneaker review first off i want to thank god and um yeah let's get into it um i picked these up like last week and they got here like two days after and yeah i was surprised i ordered these through goat i thought they would be here later this week but um yeah they came immediately i actually ordered something else for bean and uh we'll be doing a review on that one um it's a pickup that i got for him already so um yeah just the same sneaker um he wanted another pair so i'll be doing a review on that um getting another pickup through kith uh finally picked up a a new silhouette from this brand that i've never bought from and they've been around for forever um i believe they're a japanese company like asics um yeah so but um yeah i got them through kith they said they would be here today today's monday february 26th 2024 uh, yeah i picked these up and i wanted them last year they came out like early november but then they did another release this year 2024 so i don't know you could say uh they technically released last year there was a release some places got them and then they did another release which if that's the case then it's just more of like a restock restock or they just the shipment arrived late but at the end of the day sometimes i think okay if they we call them sneak certain sneakers of the year which i'm not putting this one up there as far as the sneaker of the year category or anything not right now that i can think of um it, it, it's in by default because it's so early and this is the pickups but i just don't see it um but it is my first Air Jordan 1 low 85. So, you know, I wanted it since when I saw it. There's going to be other colorways dropping. And, um, yeah, I'm happy to finally have it. Uh, I knew that I wanted it. And I'm also glad that I waited a couple months because I was able to get them below retail shipped. So that's another great thing um, for such, you know, a great sneaker that it is. But let's get into the box. So first off, we got the uh, white and red Nike box. Now this is very glossy and embossed. You can actually feel it. And that is going throughout the whole box. You can feel that. So I like the little added detail. It is a little more slimmed down box because these are a low. So here you go. Air Jordan 1 low, 85. FB 9933100. You got Summit White and Light Smoke Gray. You have Sail and Neutral Gray. The other ones are not on there, but that's part of the colorway from what I've looked up. Inside, you got your little swoosh there and your stamp action going on right there. Uh, tissue paper, you know, covering both sneakers and they're wrapped a certain way when you open it up. And you got your YCM sticker right there. Here, they are. Woo! Woo! Yes, sir. One thing just from the high to the low, I don't know if they did that back in the days i don't i didn't see nobody post them because you know they got a lot of that that stock pairs and the highs had the little hang tag with the little jump man you know let you know the in, informational pamphlet so i'm surprised that the low didn't come with it so starting off the also you have this uh neutral gray also if you want to call smoke gray whatever whatever gray you want so and here you have your r here and here two r's your nike the star pattern on the forefoot area here it is very defined very grippy so you could really tell the difference from your regular og to the 85 it is more pronounced pivot point right here just overall better feeling sneaker better built sneaker your midsole as we know they went back to the 85 design as well as the upper so your upper is this full grain white leather upper You got your vamp area here. The perforated holes are a little bit more, slightly bigger than your regular OG. And the sneaker is more like of a rounded into the middle of the sneaker, while the OG is slightly more slanted to the side here. So it gives it a slope. While this is more just straight lined, rounded, a little uh, bulky looking almost, if you will, but it does look a little bit better compared to your og and then you have your eye stays and you have eight of them one two three four five six seven eight typically the og has seven 
you have this uh, neutral gray suede and it wraps around towards the heel here same in the medial side more of that suede now on the heel the Air Jordan Wings logo is offset a little bit. I'll show you. They didn't do such a good job. I don't know. You can see they're a little off, just slightly. I don't know if that's how it is, but this one you can see it's a little bit more slightly off. If you're looking at them, you know, I'm trying to show you, you know, it's slight. So when I'm looking at them, because I can't do it with both sneakers in hand is this little peak here and how it lines up to this side this bottom part here but still you can kind of see this one here and it's just slightly off nothing too crazy but you could tell um so yeah just wanted to point that out white laces does not come with additional set of laces you got your little tissue paper there white insole gray nike air and then your neutral gray sock liner here and it is nice and padded a little thicker than your regular ogs and another thing that i notice on the cut that they did here by the tag is just looking at everything is there's this little peak here little peak right at the edge of the um tag here you want to look at the date right there pause that I'll show you the other one. Again, has this little peak thing right after. So they, they set that as a marker there. You do have the high whole thing with the sizing and everything. I never seen a low review or anything like that, but I know that the highs have that as I have the high here from the newer line, not the OG, but we all know that that's what it was. That's how it was done like that. Uh, another thing is you got white canvas feeling tongue very meshy tongue not the nylon this is not nylon and you have a fat swoosh at the top of the tongue here you got your nike ear you got the two r's there the back of the tongue is this light gray smoke gray if you will with your lettering as well there and so yeah that those are a couple things that i've seen if you want to see the inside of this side and how it just goes across, there is no little peak there. Same thing with the other one. Just goes right across. So, yeah. And um, what would I rate these? I'd rate these clean, you know, very wearable, materials good. Um, gonna go with mm, 7.5 7.5 these are good clean very wearable these should always be available I see that people don't want them because you know they're on sale um, but these should be available I guess every five years they should bring these back at least every five years or four somewhere around there because they tend to bring back um big classics every five years sometimes five to seven but yeah at least i mean this the last time these came out was 2021 so it's been three years i feel like one more year would have been a little bit more of a better time to release but they actually released last year so technically these released two years ago from the actual release date a little over two years so but if they would have released at the end uh, around the summertime when the other ones release it would be an easy three years and um i still feel like four years would be good but they did bring them back as you know um the 85 cotton they are charging a little bit more they're a little bit more good on the details and let's do a quick comparison and too crazy and so they kept it kind of similar there with how this goes up a little bit and stays there like this one stayed there you see the difference in the suede yes i've worn the one a little bit more there are little differences on the suede color and you can see the swooshes are a little different there shapes are a little different as well um the paint the leather everything is a little bit different so these are you know 
a little less better, if you will. But I still would kind of like rate these really close to it. Um, I'd rate these like an easy seven because they're so wearable. Nothing too flashy, very easy to wear, man. So, you know. Um, but yeah, you have the 2015 release. And this one has a little bit of a different position on the swoosh. So from what I've seen, there's barely any space here on the heel. Because where the Wings logo goes is where it lines up at the bottom part. While this one, as you can see, the Wings logo is not lined up with the bottom part. So then the off-centeredness is different. As this one, uh, it's not as close as this one. This one's really close to where the I Stay Leather pieces are right here. Very thin. This has just a slight bit. Of, of a gap I checked the swooshes and from I checked from here measured it from here to here these are little details that not too many people care about but they are um, noticeable if you do do a little bit of time of measurement if you care about these little things which I'm pointing it out for anybody that does care for the sneaker geeks out here you got one and five eighths from here to here this one as well the shape is a little off. It looks a little fatter, but the shape from here to here is one and five eighths. So they kept it, they kept the whole thing um, true to OG as this one is the same one and five eighths. While the OG low, this is one and three eighths. So there is a difference in the thickness of the swoosh by. Um, uh, a quarter is it like yeah a quarter of an inch um yeah because you got yeah, yeah a quarter of an inch and um yeah that that's um what we're looking at there if you care for that thing and uh to show you how it looks compared to this here on the vamp area to see how centered these are and how the holes are a little bit more bigger on the 85 compared to your 2015 that supposed to be very close to the OG and um, as far as the upper the midsole is not of course we got the OG midsole here on this one so this is missing some things we have the very pointy heel here, how it comes up and it's very pointy, it just comes up like that. And I'll show you these here and how it's not. And how small the Air Jordan Wings logo is on this one compared to this one. This one's a little bit more of an oversized, similar to what Union did on the Air Jordan ones that they've collaborated on when they put it on the side here. You know, it's a little bit more of an oversized here. It takes over the whole spot there. But yeah, YouTube, hope you enjoyed this review. It's your boy Logan J, and I'm signing out. Peace.